these two jars of honey came out of that beehive there without opening the hive and without disturbing the bees. It's something we've been working on for a decade and we're nearly at the point where we can tell you all about it. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's honey on tap. I've spent hours taking honey out of hives and this, this, this system is just blows my mind. I mean, to be able to turn a tap and have honey flow out, that's gold. You can't get much better than that. I tell you, I was very excited too when it actually worked. <laughs> when I actually put the tubes in and watched the honey come out, I was sitting there going, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was completely amazed and surprised at the amount of honey that came out. It was easy to use and there was very little disturbance to the whole hive. Look at that drizzle straight out of the hive. This is as fresh as honey could possibly be. We will have this invention live on Kickstarter on the 23rd and we really need your help to get the word out there, to build a buzz and build a community of beekeepers around the globe. Keeping bees in an entirely new way. If you'd like to support us, like our Facebook page, join our mailing list and stay in the loop. This amazing looking western red cedar is from a sustainable source in North America. It's a really durable wood. A coat or two of tongue oil will make it last even longer. There's no need to coat the inside of the box, leave that natural for the bees. But do coat both sides of the viewing window covers. This will help prevent the wood from swelling and jamming in wet weather. To adjust the flow frame so they're tied in the box, first make sure the flow key access strip is in place. Then wind out the screw in the end of the frame a little bit. This makes sure the frames are pushed backwards so they form a nice window like this with no gaps. Make sure there are no gaps bigger than two millimetres because you don't want bees escaping when you open the cover. Before you put this onto your hive, make sure all the frames are in the reset position as they may have moved in transport. To do this, remove the flow key access plug. You might need pliers for the first time. Insert the flow key in the upper operating slot. Notice there are two slots. It must be the upper operating slot. Turn the key 90 degrees, just like that, and the frame is ready for the bees. Do this to each flow frame. Enjoy watching your bees do their amazing work. Look after your bees and enjoy harvesting pure, fresh honey straight from home. Let's take a look and see how it's going. See the ends they haven't quite filled. See them working in there. The middle's looking lovely. You can actually see the capping, the wax capping they put on it. Those cells are perfectly full. On the left there you can see they're almost full. hear the sound of a drone buzzing around. They're very busy. You can see them closing the gaps in there. You can smell the melaleuca coming in. They're doing a beautiful job of capping this outside frame. Look at them go. Beautiful girls. Good looking really good. You can see the frames in the middle are full. Yeah. Mm. And not so full by the edge. Beautiful cap there. Ah.
taking the top cover off where the tool inserts. Choose your frame. And we've chosen this one. This one. Right. Four. Very good. See the honey pour again. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. It's, uh, yeah. it's moving quick, isn't it? Yeah. You can watch the honey draining out of that over three kilos out of that one frame. Now we've got a second jar, filled in about seven minutes. They've waxed up that gap. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Bees are chilled in there. Everyone, Haven't seemed to have minded the honey coming out of the middle. Look at that. We just turned the tool and now it's reformed the cells and the bees are into it. Chewing back the capping and fixing it up. So there are about three or four cells here there. The wax is already chewed off. These other ones they're chewing away at to get in. That's done. Mm. Now all those cells are closed, ready for the bees to fill it up again. 7k. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Here we are a day later. And it's raining. Interestingly enough, the honey's all drained out of this trough. But over here, there's still honey in it. So we probably should have unblocked the little drain spot. We'll leave it there and see what happens. Another day later and they're looking quite busy. And then putting honey back in those two we robbed. <laughs> <laughs>